Hi everybody, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Last time we got absolutely smashed by Artorius, and subsequently by his cronies as well, the uh, the four Praetors that everyone seems to be looking for. Except not really, they mentioned a guy called Shigure, which got um, Rekoi's attention. And then there was an old guy who there's something to do with Ifrid. There we go. And that was it, really. The other, uh, uh, Oscar and Just Teresa hang and in Paul. there, said. Not really. And then we all got sucked through a portal uh, created by seemingly a combination of Inomna and Officer. So, from there, we ended up wherever the hell we are. And Love Set's not in great shape. So, I guess... We're in space? I don't... I don't really know. The exit should be around here somewhere. How how would you even know this? I honestly how? <clears throat> it sort of seems like the worst way to carry him. It's just me. Maybe. Uh Where do we go now? I'm guessing... <sighs> okay, I'm guessing it should be this way. But I have worries. But this... Good. Wait, no, it must be this way, because that way's dead end. Wasn't it? It was a dead end, wasn't it? I haven't just been walked back to the start, have I? Where is this place anyway? No, no, I haven't. No, exactly. So, okay, it's the right way. A little bit nervous there for a sec. There we go. Sure it has. Where's the exit? What the hell is this place? It's an Earth Pulse. Listen. So you survived. Let's not count our blessings just yet. It looks like we've been sealed inside. But at least we're still alive. Can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place. An Earth Pulse. So that's what this is. Yeah. It's like a river flowing with nature's life energy. Hmm. Earth Pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafisette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafisette possesses the power to return us home, but... But he is out of it. He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. What? Don't talk like that! Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. Even you? <laughs> this lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Then that's no help at all. 
An exorcist would work. Uh. What? We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malakim, so that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Malak's vessel. I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Not one step closer! I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> you don't mince words, do you? Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it. <laughs> uh, Velvet, don't die. Fine. Hmm. What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters, but since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette. I see. O oh, child of the fountain of creation, these vows we exchange, may our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. Just come in badly. Uh, How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat. He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? <laughs> what was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. <laughs> Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. <laughs> ten gold? You're on. Um. What in the? Luffy said, what did that exorcist do? <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist has appeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides, his power is just what I need. Ten gold. Don't you forget our little wager now, all right? <laughs> My darling Ted and Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! God's sake. All right, we... I won't let her get away from me! Are in the Volg rooms now, apparently. 
Wait a minute. This can't be where I think it is, can it? I had a thought just now that it might be the ruins that you first started in Sisteria, but that can't be right. Hmm. Right, what we got? Weather Guardian. Saturday. Oh, okay. And what's in the other side? Come on, Velvet, run faster. Got a lot of cats holes and we haven't had a cat's chest for a long time actually. Whatever that crystal is bright. It's kinda cool. It's just said uh, the whole swarm of cat souls is weird. Where we are, no, just demons. Oh no, a dead end! And so the adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying <laughs> manner! Look, that wall is cracked. That means. Kick. <laughs> completely unceremoniously screwed over my glue's son. Um, it's okay. <laughs> no, please. Oh, Jesus. A lot of ways. So, exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award for <laughs> Desirable Vessel three years running. <laughs> yeah, oh. sure she has. Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks, but no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. No. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Uh. Bien! Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Inominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! <laughs> anyway, we need to find her here. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. Oh, what the hell? Hi, Tuttles. <laughs> You guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. <laughs> I'm happy to help you all, but this time I really, really needs to charge a little extra. <laughs> How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it there's a spooky monster who's <laughs> been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. <laughs> Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swear it. Look, I had special sales going on. Everything's worked uh. down to normal prices. <laughs> How generous of you. Mogulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're evil. They're both evil. Uh, okay. Right, I have to. I have to stop recording now because I have to get going. So I'm going to stop this here. Um, 
This looks like some kind Crap. of ruin. I just pushed Where the are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. Oh. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is. <laughs> an Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses, closer to their gods. Uh -huh. Cool. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, people viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves. Is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. <laughs> you know, for making swords. <sighs> God's sake. I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> Anyway, I seriously have to get going. So, next time on Tales of Pissarro, we find out where the hell we are. And find out how to leave. I don't know. That, that went weird somehow. So, I'll see you guys then.